We'll see in this video how the standard formatting commands can be used to make the text and the symbol images look as you want them to be. Type a short sentence. We all went to the zoo. Maybe we want this to be consistently smaller. We can highlight it all. There are two icons here which are actually quite convenient because they can change the graphic and the text size together in a reasonable way. So if we click to increase the size, both the graphics and the font become larger in a reasonable ratio. We can make them smaller again. If you want to have individual control over the size of the graphic or the size of the font, then that's also very easily possible. The size icon here, next to these two graphics, will alter the sizes of just the images without altering the size of the font. So we can make the images quite a lot larger there, but we've still got the same size of font. I'll make it smaller again. Similarly here, you can change the size of the font without altering the size of the graphic. So if you wanted to bring more attention to the text and less attention to the graphics, we could make the text larger and we could make the graphics significantly smaller. Now the emphasis is on the text and we could change that the other way around if we wish to. We can also, from the drop-down menu here, choose any of the fonts that we have on our system. So I might choose this one, the serif font, so that you can choose the font that you wish to have. Also, any paragraph can be aligned either left, as normal, right, or centrally. So you can align left, right, or center. And that can work on the current paragraph, or if you've got several paragraphs and you highlight over those, it will operate on the highlighted paragraphs. I'll move it back to the left again. There are also tabbing facilities so that you can make symbols and text appear in columns. You can use this icon here which says set the number of tabs across the page or you can go to text and you can go to paragraph and you can set the tabs across the page there. There's two ways of doing it. I'll use this here and I'm going to choose to set the number of tabs across the page as three. So I can just make that three. It'll apply to the paragraph that I'm writing. So if I now type cat and then a tab, dog, lion. And when I make a new paragraph, that tab setting will be carried on into the new paragraph. So if I type fish, pig, horse. Then we can arrange things in columns using this. And I could have anything between two and six tabs on a line so that we can arrange things in columns in that sort of way. So all the standard formatting that you might expect in a word processor is there, but with the addition that you can control the size of the graphics symbols, either together with the font here, or separately using this icon here.